Now that we've got the basic layout in place, what we're going to be doing is trying to style this text so that it looks a little bit more interesting. And we'll put in some links in here that at the moment will just function as links. They won't actually go anywhere. So why don't we start with that and we'll put in some links. At the same time, I may actually just get rid of this third column for the moment. So in order for us to go back to where we were before we had that third column in place, we could just comment out this information for the aside or we could just completely remove it and I'm going to completely remove it. I'm also going to return back to our CSS. I'll just remove this one and if you remember in order to make this work now I'm going to change the width back to 760 and we're going to be floating the width for this element on the right hand side. So let's just save this and we'll save our HTML page as well. And if we go back to our browser and preview it, we should see something that looks more along the lines of what we see right here. So that's fine. It's all good. But as I said, we're going to be styling the text a little bit more now so that it looks better than it does at the current state. So to begin with, why don't we insert some links in this area here on the side and we'll see about how we can style them to make them work. So I'm returning back to Dreamweaver and I'm going to the navigation area. Now generally speaking links are created by using A tags and A tags are something that we use often for different structure and link structure inside of our HTML pages but it's not unusual to nest those links inside of another container called an unordered list. And unordered lists usually work, as you might imagine, with other list items, but they're often used in CSS design for navigational areas. So I'm just, since they're so common, I'm going to show you how we can actually work with some list elements in here. So in order to begin with, what I would like you to do is to create a UL or an unordered list. And as any unordered list will have an opening and closing tags. Now within those we're going to include some LI list items. And these list items will have A tags inside of them. Now I've just prepared a little bit of information which I've just copy pasted here but you can do the same thing and as I break these down I'll show you what I mean. So we start with a UL and we close with a UL. Within these unordered list items that we see here there are LI list items. LI, LI, closing. And within there we have an A tag. Open A tag, closing A tag. Now you'll notice I just put in like you know home about news, products, services, clients, employment, contact. Just some basic standard links. You'll notice that the href only has the pound symbol or number sign. That means it's going to act just like a link but it's not going anywhere right now. Not specifically because we only have one page and I'm only showing you the basic layout of these pages so there's really no need to make them go anywhere at the moment. So we just have this in place. So take a second to create a UL closing UL and within the UL have LI closing LIs. Within the LIs, the list items, have A tags with closing A tags and some text in between. Once you've got that done, save your page. And let's take a look at what this looks like in the browser as I refresh it. And you can see it looks nothing like the way I'd want it to look. Although they are links and they won't go anywhere as you can see. But nevertheless, these links also show us these little dots that are over here which are not unusual when we're dealing with list items. However, we don't want those in place so there's a number of things that I'm going to do to make these list items look a little bit better. So let's go back to our CSS code and you can see here that we have our nav section which we've defined. Since our links and list items are going to be inside the nav area, right after our nav area and that is before our main section, I'm going to start writing out some information here. And we do that so that we can keep everything all nice and neat and 
you know, keep it all in mind. So the first thing I want to do is, and again, you can copy this information for the nav. Make sure that if you are copy pasting things the way I am, that you have this information written with the closing tags in place. So, same as before, nav, but this time I'm going to put a space after the selector and say li. In other words, we are targeting here all list items inside of nav, whatever they may be. And the thing that we want to address first of all is let's get rid of those black dots. So I'll say list and you'll notice that when you're running through this, right, I'm just going to do it this way because Dreamweaver gives me a handy drop down thing. And the thing that we want to do here is to say list style type. And basically, we're saying, no, no, I don't want it to be a circle or a disk or a square or anything along those lines. I actually just want it to say none. So, List style types or list items inside of nav should have a list style type of none. So I'm going to save that page. Command S, let's save it. And let's go back to Safari and preview this in our browser. Voila! Right away you'll see that all those little dots are missing. 